Hey, hey, welcome back. So let's talk about these sticker packs in Monopoly Go. Obviously, they are very beneficial. We try to collect them so that we can complete our albums and earn dice and rewards and whatnot, but what's in them? So let's take a look. So first off, everybody should know this green pack. This is super, super common. There are two stickers in it, and one of them is guaranteed to be a one-star sticker. Now you can get other ones in there, but we'll talk about it later. So the next one is a yellow pack. This one has three stickers in it, and one of them is guaranteed to be a two-star. Then we move on to the pink one. There are three stickers in this one as well, and one is guaranteed to be a three-star sticker. And then the next one, we have the blue one. Now we're starting to get into some good ones. These have four stickers in it, and one of those is guaranteed to be a four-star sticker. We have a purple pack, which is really good. There are six stickers in this one, one of which is guaranteed to be five-star. And then we have the super, super important, very, very rare pack. It's This is, is called the Galaxy Pack. Now the Galaxy Pack has six stickers in it as well, but one of them is guaranteed to be a brand new sticker for you. So let's talk about the additional stickers that come in these packs. So one of them is guaranteed to be the star that it shows on the front, but the other stickers that can be with it can be kind of anything. Um, it's very rare to get anything more than what the pack guarantees, but there is a slight chance that you can get something better. So let's take a look at this breakdown. I get pulled this from the internet, so I can't guarantee its validity, but if you take a look, like for example, the green pack is the first one, two star stickers with a one guaranteed to be a one star sticker. Now the remaining sticker that's in there, that is the percentage of what it could be. So you do have a 0.2% chance of pulling a five star gold. Um, there's a 0.2% chance of pulling a five star. I have pulled a five star from a green pack before. And trust me, I about fell out of my chair when that happened. But don't count on it. Don't hope for it. That is super rare, super, super rare. But it could happen. So recently I opened a purple pack. And just as promised, it comes with a guaranteed five-star sticker. I got lucky and it just happened to be a five-star gold sticker. Now the remaining stickers kind of fit in. Um, so half of them, 50%, were one-star stickers, just like it says. And then the other two were four-star stickers. There was a one7 percent chance that I got four star stickers. This was a good pack, but you're not guaranteed. But that's just kind of a breakdown of the percentages. This is probably a good time to segue into the importance of the sticker boom. So the sticker boom is a mini event in the game that usually only lasts for about 15 minutes when it starts. But every time you open a pack during the sticker boom, you get 50% more stickers from the pack. So this is the time that I like to save up all my stars to open the big 800 vault because when you do, then you guaranteed you get more stickers from the pack. So let's take a look at me opening. And you know, even if you don't get a bunch of four star and five star stickers that you need other than just the one that it gives you, it's a good way to um, accumulate more stars to open your vault again later. But let's take a look. So just like I said, this one you normally get in the blue pack, four stickers. Because it's a sticker boom, you get 30% more. So I got six stickers. And like this, the six stickers, I got nine and a guaranteed five star. This is pretty typical when you open sticker packs. You're not gonna get, you know, two five stars and two four stars and a gold or whatever. It's usually your big card and then a bunch of little ones, but it's good to accumulate the stars for later anyway. But once again, I was supposed to get six stickers during the sticker boom, you get nine. So this is really important. Um, keep that in mind for when you wanna open the vault or if you do airplane mode and have a bunch of color wheel spins that you need to use up, um, but just some tips. Anyhow, if you enjoy my content, like my video, subscribe to my channel so you can stay in the know for all things Monopoly Go and stick around for more videos. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.